video on how to take a few scraps of wood, a few slip pots, and turn those planks into an eye popping decoration great for any home. First of all, make sure you're wearing old clothes that you don't care for if you get any paint on them. Um, and girls, put your hair up. What you need is a piece of wood, paint, small brushes, a pen, a pencil, um, rough, send them paper, letters, and tape. Oh, and I left out the clear coat. You need clear coat for the end of it. Um, what I did was I used white for my, my, my background. I went ahead and painted it white. You can do any kind of color you want. I have a brown one over here. It don't matter what, what color. Um, then, you need to take um, your piece of paper with letters on them. This, you have to play around with it on your computer. It depends on how big you want your letters to be or how big the space that you're working on is. With your pencil, you are going to trace the back of your letters very well. Then, you take your piece of paper on your piece of wood, then with your pen, you trace your letters Make sure you're doing it kind of hard, that way the letters will show when you're tracing them. Once you've got done tracing everything, you take off your paper and you're going to paint over it. Whatever color paint you want, it doesn't have to be on a specific color. Then I paint it over it. It's very easy to do. Even if you if your hands shake, it's very, very easy to do. I mean if you mess up anywhere it's paint. You can always paint over it. Then once I painted all of my letters. You let it sit and dry. It will, it will take but a few minutes to dry. And the finished product is going to look like this. Then you take your rough sending paper and you go over wherever you want to make it look old looking. I mean, it's optional. If you don't want to make it look like this, you don't have to. But it looks really good if you do. Wherever you want to go over it. I just really like making it look vintage looking. Then, you see what it looks like. Then you take your clear coat and you go over it. Make sure you get your whole piece of wood and it's an even coat. Make sure you do a very, very even coat because if you don't, once it dries, it will show if it's not even. The finished product would look like this. I did this about a month ago. It looks very, very good once it's up on the wall. You can see how the shiny makes it look a lot better. You don't have to do your clear coat, but I would recommend for you to do it because it looks really, really good. And that's how you make a wood sign. Thank you for watching. God, bye.